everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while, at least a few months, since I have filmed a YouTube video and uploaded a YouTube video. So I am very excited. I'm now on summer vacation. I am a teacher, so this is my first official day on summer vacation, so why not film a video? And I'm happy with the way this came out. It's kind of fresh and summery and pink and glowy and I'm just really liking it. So yeah, I'm hoping to be filming a lot more videos and I hope that you're gonna be watching a lot more videos. Make sure you subscribe. And if you wanna see how I got this look using a few new products as well, keep watching. So I am gonna be trying out a few new products today. And I'm just gonna start by putting my hair back. I've been obsessed with scrunchies lately, like 90s scrunchies, for no particular reason. So I am going to start with my face, and I am starting with a new primer. This is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer, oil free. And when I went to buy this at Target, the girl that was checking me out was like, that's my favorite, I always use that, and I've heard good things. So I'm pretty excited about it, and I just ran out of my Benefit Professional. So just squeezing it out. I don't know how much to do. Looks like that. It's like white and... Very thick and kind of sticky. But I'm just gonna start rubbing that in. And then I'm also gonna be using a new foundation that I just got, and it is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Classic Ivory. I picked this one because it had a pump, and I'm all about pumps, it makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna squeeze some. It takes a while, like new foundation, you know? squeeze on the back of my hand. Oh, I hope this is not too dark. Just like that. Here you go, up close and personal. Um, not sure about the shade, but I don't know, I've committed, so I guess we're rolling with it. And then I use the e.l.f call it the horse brush, I don't know, it looks like a horse brush to me, to start blending that out. Actually, maybe the color is not that bad. So that's what it looks like with like one coat. Um, it's pretty sheer coverage. It's not anything full coverage. I don't really need full coverage though, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Color isn't perfect. <laughs> Let me blend it down my neck. But it's not bad. It feels sticky, but I'll set it with powder. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in there. This stuff is bomb. You got to get it. First of all, huge, huge. You don't even need that much product, though. So I should probably use the brush the right way. Just do a little bit around my nose. Um, for this I use a Real Technique sponge, like the little orange guy, and when I'm done with under my eyes and my nose, I'll just use it to like do the other high points of my face, but I don't like to put concealer directly on them, because I just don't feel that I need that. I take my RCMA No Color Powder, and I just for under my eyes use the sponge, so easy enough. Just let it kind of bake there for a hot second. And then for the rest of my face, I use this dirty brush. I thought about cleaning my brushes, I'll have you know. I really did, but that obviously did not happen, considering this. Ugh. Real life, you know? So now the foundation feels like all set in, and the concealer does as well, obviously. I like it so far. So that was the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Maybe I'll check back with you later to let you know how it wears throughout the day because it is, it's only like 11.30 in the morning, so I can do that later. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in taupe. And uh, I use an old mascara wand as a spoolie, and it works fabulously. So, life hack right there. 
<sighs> I feel like I gotta get up close and personal with these brows. I get them waxed like every six-ish weeks. And I had them waxed last weekend. And then all of a sudden, like right here, I had like alligator skin. It was so dry from the waxing. It was not fun, but I'm just gonna do my eyebrows quick because I don't think I can really do them on camera, so I'll be right back. Of course, brows are sisters, not twins, and mine are really taking that to the extreme today, but well, we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna start my eye makeup next. Depends on the day. I might do like bronzer, blush, highlight, and then go onto my eyes. There's really no rhyme or reason, just whatever I feel like doing. So I've been loving this palette. And I don't even know what it's called. It is Lorac. I'm pretty sure it's limited edition, but I just loved the packaging on it. It's like little kitties and shells, and it's just really cute. So these are the colors that come in it. So there's like matte and shimmer ones. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I always like to start with the shade Button right here. It's kind of like a light warm brown and I'm just going to kind of use that to put in my crease at first. So that's just um, that first shade Button. Then I'm going to go in with the shade right below it which is Starfish which is more of a satiny type finish, but I'm still gonna use it in the crease because I want to. So same brush, just putting that in my crease. So now that I have finished with Starfish, I'm gonna take my favorite shade in the whole palette, which is this one right here called Hot Toddy. And this is pretty matte and it's, I don't even know how to describe the color, but it is gorgeous. I'm taking my e.l.f. blending brush a little more precise and I'm going to use this in the crease and it actually also comes with a mirror so always a good thing so there's that shadow done I just I love the color I just love it so then I'm going to take um, a flat brush that is really dirty I should definitely clean this off we're going to pretend that this side is clean I can see that it's not, but it's better than this side, so I'm just going to use this side. And we're going to take the shade 65 degrees down here. Um, it's a shimmery champagne-y color. And I'm using a flat, stiff brush so I can pack this onto my lid. I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I already have shadow on the brush, and I'm just spraying it to get it a little wet, just like one spray, like boop. Shake it around in there, make sure it picks up some stuff, and I'm going to use this to go right over that shadow. It's the same shadow, I mean. Okay, now you could leave the uh, upper lid like this, but I always like to add a darker color for dimension in the outer corner. I think it makes your eyes look bigger and just more awake. So I'm taking this cable knit color right here, which is like a darker purple. It's matte, um, purpley brown. And I'm just taking a stiff brush. This is the e.l.f. contour brush. And I'm just going to start packing that on the outer third, kind of blending it up into the crease and to the, onto the shimmery shade that I had there. And now I'm going to do my lower lash line. So I'm taking a flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to take that cable knit color, the darkest purple, the darkest purple, and I'm going to line the outer third of my lash line on the bottom. So let me show you what I mean. Let me show you. Just like that taking a pencil brush, little pencil brush guy, and I'm going to be mixing Hot Toddy and Starfish to blend out that color on the lower lash line. So I'm just like burp, burp, and then blending. So then I'm going to go in with another little pencil brush. 
to use Sandcastle, this shimmery white shade, the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Just like so. So now for mascara, I'm using the Benefit There Real. I have like a little mini guy of this. I won't lie, these little bristles, I don't know if you can see, they're like plastic and spiky. And when I use them on my lower lash line, they do kind of hurt. But I like the mascara in general, so I'm willing to look past that. So I'm just going to put on like 5 billion coats of mascara and I'll be back. In case you were wondering how my day is going, I just went to put on my bottom mascara and look what... Yep. Right in a nice... Nice brow bone highlight. Thanks, mascara. Always appreciated. So if this ever happens to you, don't try and rub it away while it's still wet. Wait till it's dry. And then usually I use a Q-tip, but I don't feel like getting one, so I'm just very gently using my finger. So now for my bronzer, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And <laughs> I've hit pan on this barely, but you can see it there, so... I love it. It's so good. It like matches me all year round. So I'm just bronzing. None of this contouring business. So I just bronze like my cheekbones, my forehead, and a little bit down my neck. Now since this is a pretty pink look and I'm wearing a pink shirt, I figured why I guess we'll just roll with the pink look. And for blush, I'm going to use these, these, this e.l.f. light blush palette. And I'm going to take the lightest pink shade right there and these are pretty pigmented you don't need a ton I love these blushes but and it's super cheap I mean it's elf obviously for highlight I also wanted to use a pink highlight so I'm using the wet n wild precious petals highlighting powder these were like the thing a few months back and I still love it I think it's beautiful and natural and Yep. I also like to do my nose. Cupid's bow. And since it's summer, let's just go crazy. Chin and forehead. I know, I'm nuts. What can I say? For lips, I'm going to line my lips with Essence Lip Liner in Wish Me A Rose. So that's what it looks like with just the lip liner. I did put it all over my lips. But now I'm going to use a lip gloss because I just feel like summer calls for lip gloss. And this is one of my favorites. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. An oldie but a goodie. It's probably old. Ooh, oh, there we go. Oh, that was a workout. Anyway, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. So I'm just going to use some setting spray, the same I used before, the Urban Decay. And I'll kind of fix my hair and I'll be right back. So this is the final result. It's very fresh and summery and pink. So if you're not into pink, this probably isn't going to be your look. But I really like it and I love this Lorac palette. If I can find the name of it, which I'm sure I'll be able to, I'll put it in the description bar below. So you really need to check this out. And so far... I like the NYX Angel Veil vale Primer, and I'm really loving this um, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. So I'm going to try and check back in in a few hours just to let you know how it wears. But yeah, I'm so glad that I'm back making videos on YouTube, and I hope to be making a lot more. Make sure you check out my blog, my Instagram, and everything like that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!